In this video, we are going to find the derivative of the y, where y equals 6 times square root x divided by the quantity 8x minus 5. So this is the quotient form. So we are going to apply the quotient rule by applying the numerator as the high and the denominator as the low. With the derivative of the quotient form, or use the quotient rule using the form that's low d high minus high d low, draw the line, low squared. That means on the prep node, we are going to identify the h or the high function, which is 6 times square root x, the low function, which is the denominator, get x minus 5, the d high or the derivative of the numerator, is the derivative of the 6 times square root x. Note that the square root x is x to the power 1 half. Therefore, the derivative of the 6 square root x is 6 times 1 over 2 times x to the power negative 1 half, which is simplified to be 3 times x to the power negative 1 half. For the derivative of the new denominator, going to be 8. Right now, we have all h l dh dl or the high low d high d low bring it bring them back to the formula for the quotient rule the low function is the quantity of 8x minus 5 the d high is the quantity 3x to the power negative 1 half minus the high which is the numerator function 6 times square root x multiplied by d low which is the value 8 or divided by the low or 8x minus 5 quantity squared. Next we are going to simplify. When we simplify let's see it there are multiple ways to simplify this expression uh, especially the numerator. We are going to leave the denominator as the quantity power 2. So in this case, let's go with the traditional way by multiplying or distributing the 3x to the power negative 1 half to 8x minus 5. And then we get 24 times x to the power 1 minus 1 half with the property of the product of the two exponents like x to the power a times x to the power b, the result is x to the power a plus b. In this case, x means x to the power 1. So we combine 1 and negative 1 half for the product of 8x and 3x to the negative 1 half. The next, the next term is negative 5 times 3, that's 15, x to the negative 1 half minus 6 square root x times 8. So I'm going to simplify to be 48. forty-eight square root x all divided by the quantity 8x minus 5 square. The first term is 24x to the positive 1 half minus 15x to the negative 1 half minus 48 square root x all divided by 8x minus 5 to the power second. x to the power 1 half is the same as square root x. Therefore, the last term and the first term here, they can be combined as they are like terms. So we can combine them to be negative 24 square root x minus 15 x to the negative 1 half all divided by the quantity 8x minus 5 to the power second. Now we got the derivative of the function y equals 6 square root x divided by 8x minus 5.